Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mr. Goonies YouTube video. It's really cool to, to receive packages with your name on it, your YouTube name. I think it's really sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm just corny or something, but either way, in this video, it's the most underrated Charizard in the Japanese set, in my opinion. Now, the only reason I say that is because to find one of these Charizards in good condition that's not, like, destroyed is really, really, really hard to do. And I feel as if we've gotten one of those minty Charizards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open it up because this is coming all the way from Portugal. And this is, as you can see here, uh, right here. So, cop. Car cartas Pokemon, so card Pokemon Pokemon card. Okay, so this is a Pokemon card from wherever he's at. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into opening this now. I was gonna use a pair of scissors here, but obviously, it seems as if we don't need these now. Like I said, this is a very hard to find PSA ten. Japanese Charizard and hopefully I'm saying hopefully because you never really know especially something that's coming all the way from another country the condition of this thing so I'm gonna ever so carefully I think I might use the scissors do some surgery oops do some surgery here I'll get in here and give it a nice little, little slip I probably just missed the bubble wrap. Okay. Hey, you want to be careful. Look, he gave me some uh, some freebies. Hopefully that didn't leave a giant circle ding on the card. I really hope not. That, I cannot believe that. Like, I know it's a good gesture and all, but... Okay. Let's see. It was... The booster pack, or was the card on top? That's, I guess, the most important. If it was the card, that's going to be super unfortunate. Okay, it was the booster pack. We well, can see it was the booster pack. So, then hopefully, it doesn't seem like the uh, the coin would do any damage. Um, okay, so it seems as if this is sort of taped on. And, you know, I'm trying to be ever so gentle because, like I said, this is a very, very hard Charizard to get as a PSA 10. And it looks as if, hopefully, we have that Charizard. Um, let's see. He said he gave me a Sun and Moon booster pack, too. Don't really care for it. But thank you care more about this Charizard than anything. Alright, so we can get rid of this packaging. The Sun and Moon Blitzer. Or, not a Blitzer. Booster pack. And yeah, this gentleman said he also triple sleeved it too, so whatever um, that has to do with it. My god, this is like one of those balls that you have to... Um, you open up and then there's a smaller ball at the the end of it and you just keep opening up and it just keeps getting smaller and smaller uh, what are those things called the Japanese or the Chinese uh, balls yeah all right hmm. I like the oh yeah baby oh yeah dog look at that look at that card isn't that just a sexy card? And guess what? Guess what that is? Can you see it? Little first edition stamp right there. First edition. Granted, it is a 2016. But still, like I said, if you can find this one, props to you with the Magmar in the back and you have the Flareon with the Charizard. I also ordered one of these in English. I feel like the English are a little bit easier to come by. And yeah, I know some people are going to say, oh, da 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 da, PSA 10 is only going for $230, $300. I just saw the eBay auction of this card. That's because they're idiots. 
Look at the ones before that. And then look at the pop report. This card is really, really, really hard to find. So I wouldn't sell this card for anything less than 3000 as a PSA 10. So those guys, I got it for 300 380 Props to you. I tried getting one for uh, 230 PSA 10. And it was uh, right before I just bought this card raw. I, 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 I swore I thought this card was going to go way higher because how hard it is to find raw and then get graded. Or even to to find it graded. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bust it out of the uh, Ultra Pro. And uh, this guy said it's triple sleeved. So we have ourselves. Oh! And he also gave me a Dragonite. Wow. This is a nice one. This is cool. I appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. I think there's another card in here too. Let me see if I can get it out here easily. Yeah, there's definitely two cards in here. Okay, so we have a Dragonite. And... Wow! Nido King! Look at that. So we got a Dragonite and a Needle King. Now this Needle King looks really good. I think this is from the XY Evolution set. Oh. Ooh. A first edition Needle King from Evolutions. This is nice. Saturn looks pretty good too. The back looks really good. Wow, this is a nice card as well. Not too uh not too shabby. And we also have the Dragonite. Now, this isn't a first edition Dragonite. But this is also from 2016 era. And the back of it looks pretty pretty darn well as, as also. So that was a score, actually. Okay, so that a little bit better than what I was anticipating. Um, but yeah, so this is, the, uh, this is the main event right here, though. First edition... Um, Charizard right here from XY. Um, let's see. So he says it was triple sleeved, but it looks like it's only single. Oh, I guess triple sleeved. So one of here, one in there, and then one in the Ultra Pro. So let's go ahead and take a look at this card. Like I said, very hard to find this card in this kind of condition. There's a little bit of an edge wear here. Um, but, like I said, that's not much at all. We're sending this bad boy off to PSA. Alright. Look at that. Beautiful. 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 Wonderful looking card. Um, I'm not sure if this is a top or side loaded sleeve. I think it's a... Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it's a bottom loader. Okay, so we loaded it from the bottom. I guess that's what some people do over there in, in Portugal. I'm not sure. But yeah, bottom loaded. So this card is in pristine, pristine condition. Oh, no. It looks like there's... Uh, I don't know, actually... I think I'm going to have to take it out of this sleeve. Because if those are print lines, that's a... That's a boo-boo. And they low-key kind of look like print lines. And yeah, maybe I could just push it out. Let's see. You want to be very careful with the cards. Make sure your, uh, your hands are clean. You do this too. Oh, I guess I wasn't even pulling on the card. Push it through a little bit more. You should be able just to. Yeah. So I think these are print lines. 
We'll find out right now. I don't know, maybe it's just a part of the card, to be honest. It's really, really hard to tell. Um, but I'm not sure if you guys can see it even. So you see right here at the bottom. I'm not sure because that line kind of follows it all the way throughout the card. Maybe I'm just tripping. And there seems to be like another one that goes across this way too. See right there in the rainbow. So I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just super analyzing the card because at certain angles, like like this, looks beautiful, man. You don't see shit. But then when you try and like flux the rainbow around. Wow, that's such a beautiful card though. This is just amazing how Pokemon is able to make a card like this, to be honest. This is like I said, this is just this is by far my most underrated Japanese card that I was able to find. Um, just because of the artwork, the um, the way that this thing shines um, there's also an English version too I have coming um, that hopefully I can get graded as well, um, so I can kind of have a English and Japanese set of this card. But absolutely amazing how Pokemon is just able to make something like this, in my opinion. Um, beautiful, beautiful looking card. Beautiful artwork. Everything is absolutely amazing. So into a top loader and prepared for grading we shall begin um wish me luck hopefully i get those tens either way I, I i really do like this card um might have overpaid for the card by itself you know i paid 200 dollars just for this card on ebay but um i i am happy with what i got so Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What you think about this Charizard EX with the Magmar and the Flareon EV or whatever. Do you think this is a sick card? Do you think it's eh? Or what do, let me know what you guys think. Also, the Needle King and Dragonite. Let me know your opinions on those as well. Take care. Love you. Peace.